Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, I will give you the biblical tips and tips on how to become a professional usher in the house of God. My name is Ariaka Edgar, and this is my masterclass, Glory. has the final say, the usher has the final say. Number one, the usher has the final say. To be a professional usher, direct them however you want to. Nobody knows your father's house more than you do. The Holy Spirit has led you, so why can't you lead them? Whether they are tall, short, it does not matter and they don't have to understand. Just direct them because the Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 8, Your thoughts are not my thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Say the Lord, glory. Verse 2, not on my watch. In this service, there will be no sleeping, no pressing of phones, no side talks. Have your money in your hand before the offering basket gets to you. Do not delay the offering. First timers, stand when you have to stand. Don't let me fish you out. <laughs> ah, guys, guys, guys. Oh, my, eh, mind me. It's important that you mind me because these things are very important. Because the Bible says in Mark 13, 23, so be on your guard, for I have told you everything ahead of time. Hey! Glory. Mm. Glory. Auntie Tolu, ah ah, you just call me, look at the time now, it is not proper, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it is not right, let us tell ourselves the truth. Verse 3, his ways are not our ways. There are ways to do things, you don't just do things anyhow, there is a code of conduct. Let me tell you some of the usher's commandment. Now, what if somebody is sleeping? There is a way to wake them up. You don't just disrupt the church because you want to wake somebody. No, that is not holy. What you do is you wait by the corner and then you tap. You tap the first person. Who taps the next person? Who taps the next person? That taps the next person. That taps the next person. Who eventually now taps the person that wakes him up. <laughs> At that point, nobody will sleep again because they can all see. How do you greet in church? You don't just say good morning. No, 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 no. There is a way to greet. And it has to reflect in your words and your actions. It goes thus. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. I don't know if you've noticed what I'm doing. Look, look, look at me. Good morning. Welcome. 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 I hope this masterclass has inspired you and touched you that this Sunday you will head to church and register to be an usher. See you on Sunday. And once again, my name is Ereaka Edgar and this is my masterclass. Ah, 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 ah. Brother Timothy, is this your face? Praise be to God. I noticed you left the workers group chat. Are you walking away from the Lord?